Hi, my name is Kurt Asplund and this is my studio. Watch me pull a cat out of my hat. Yo, I'm a teammate, not a prop. Okay, Sal, don't, don't be offended. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> well, hey, today we are going to continue our practice of drawing cylinders. Yeah. And a top hat has a sense of, of being made of a cylinder. Yes, it does. So we're going to draw a cute little rabbit jumping out of a top hat. What do you think, Sal? That's a great idea. Let's do it. All right. Let's get to drawing. All right. Okay, let's get started of drawing our rabbit coming out of the hat. Ready, Sal? Oh yeah. It's the first part is, the hat is like a cylinder, so that's what we're gonna practice drawing today is a cylinder shape. So in order to get this first opening or the brim of the hat, I've put some guides down. I've put two dots, top and bottom, and then two more dots side to side yeah side yeah to use side. those four dots now as guides that will help draw a large oval we all need a little guidance every now and then make sure the first one's big enough so you could draw a second one on the inside yeah yeah make it in the inside there this is the opening of the hat because the hat is sitting upside down. Wow, upside down. Well, the rabbit's gotta have some place to sleep. Now I'm gonna do two verticals that are lining up with the inside oval. And the first one, I'm, I'm not doing it perfectly straight. I'm, I'm kind of making it indented a little bit. So it shows the hat has some wear and it, the hat isn't completely stiff. It's actually kind of, it's made of fabric and it's leaning mm -hmm. slightly to one side. It, it kind of gives a little fun detail and you could see how I drew that. I, I yeah. made the line come down and then I curved it slightly inside and then made another line below that. Mm -hmm. Made the right side and then when you draw the bottom of the hat, yeah. make sure you get curve a it. real curve. That's what I said, curve. This gives that real nice sense of, of dimension here. Oh yeah, the curve bottom there. Make sure you make your curves, curves versus straight. And make sure you draw lightly. Okay, so then, now I'm gonna draw my rabbit. Yeah. And you can see that I'm trying to make one long, smooth line to go around his ear and come all the way back down. Yeah. We see it. And then I'm changing the shape slightly of his other ear to lean off in the right hand direction. So here's something to notice that I've drawn. The one side of the rabbit is almost straight up and down where the right side has some nice curves to it. Again, using the concept of straight versus curve. That's what I said. <laughs> And I've added a couple paws. They're in the shape of kind of circular pebbles or rocks almost. And they're touching the top of the brim. Yeah, he's holding on to the top there, holding on. Hey, look at me everyone, he says. I've added a slight eye line, so I have a kind of a sense of where his eyes, and I've put this toward the top of his head, so he's kind of, makes the sense that he's looking up. Yep. Drawing lightly here. He has high hopes. High hopes to maybe be on a cereal box one day. I'm gonna go in with a little more darker lines to define my rabbit. Yep, darken him up there. Can't see him, but getting the ears in and the side. Yeah. yeah. I like, I like where this is going. This is really nice looking. Good job. Two small eyeballs. And I, when I draw my eyes on the rabbit, I 
I do them like little teeny U's so that the negative space will look like highlights. Uh, add teeny some U's. eyebrows because I think it's definitely funny to do that. Yeah, I got some. Big myself. smile, and if you notice, one side of this one side of the smile is a lot larger than the other side. Again, giving the sense that the rabbit is slightly looking to his left. Yeah, adding some teeth. Oh, teeth for carrots. Yum. Now I'm going in well, and, and just darkening the important lines. Wait, did I just say yum to carrots? Uh, let's get one thing straight. I'm a carnivore. No vegetables for me. We're talking. <clears throat> yep, let's, let's get that inner inner circle there. Except maybe a little grass, a little grass once in a while outside in the backyard, help my stomach. Working on the brim. Yeah, so you get the idea. I'm not like totally against a vegan lifestyle. I just, just occasionally, but uh, man, nothing like a good fish every now and then. Nice circular base of the hat. All right, let's get back to drawing here. This thing is really, really good. I like it. It's there's only really one word to say what I think about it. Getting the hat band. It's so cute. What a cute rabbit that is. Hey, little buddy, you want to come out and play? <laughs> I'll show you a thing or two. Add a couple extra details, whiskers and things, and, and we could wrap this one up. Please subscribe and follow. Hit that bell. You know the drill. Bing. All right, have a great day, everyone. Great drawing with you. Bye, Sal. Hey, we'll see you later. What about showing them a color version of this thing? That would be really nice. Whoa. Who's your kitty? Meow. That's right. Look at that color. I like it. Okay, everyone. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.